Over 900 Nigerians have so far been returned from Libya after they were arrested for attempting to illegally migrate to Europe through the North African country. Many of them returned with sad stories. What was the situation in the detention camp? How are they going to be reintegrated into the community? My guest was part of the federal government's delegation to Libya and she talks about the Libya returnees. Hello there, welcome to Dateline Abuja, I'm Gloria Umezuki. The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons is charged with the responsibility of preventing all forms of human degradation and exploitation and to stamp out human trafficking. On this week's episode of the program, Dame Julie Oka Donnelly talks about the situation of Nigerians in Libya. But first, what are the stories that made the headlines within the week in the nation's capital? Fuel scarcity returned to the nation's capital, Abuja, with about 80% of the petrol stations in the capital city claiming that they did not have products to sell. In the central business district and outskirts of the city, majority of the petrol stations were shut while the few that were selling recorded long queues of motorists. However, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, in a statement by the spokesman, Mr. Undu Ugamadu, insisted that it had enough stock sufficient to serve the nation for more than 30 days. The Independent National Electoral Commission has issued the timetable and schedule of activities for the 2019 general elections fixing the conduct of party primaries, including the resolution of disputes arising from primaries for August 18, 2018 to October 7, 2018 for national and state elections, while that of the FCT Area Council is slated for between September 4 and October 27, 2018. INEC National Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, addressing a news conference in Abuja, said the Commission arrived at the schedule of activities after its meeting held on the same day. The decision of the Commission to fix election dates is to engender certainty in our electoral calendar and to enable all stakeholders prepare adequately for elections, as is the case in many mature and developing democracies. Already, the Commission has concluded its strategic plan and the strategic plan of action for the current electoral cycle and beyond, covering the period 2017 to 2021, as well as the election project plan. The Commission is moving away from the culture of quick fix, fire brigade approach to the management of elections in Nigeria. A protest match by members of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria turned violence after the protesters were tear gassed as they tried to force their way into the National Assembly complex in Abuja. The Shiite members are demanding the release of their leader, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zagzaki, who was detained since 2015. In the ensuing melee, the police arrested some members of the group. In a statement, the spokesman of the Federal Capital Territory Command, Mr. Anjuguri Manza, said 52 of them were arrested with improvised petrol bombs and other harmful objects. The federal government has vowed to prosecute human traffickers who are involved in the trafficking of the huge number of Nigerians stranded in Libya. Speaking at a news conference in Abuja, Members of the federal government's delegation to Libya identify human trafficking as playing a major role in the large number of Nigerians in Libyan camps. The criminal element involved in this trafficking and this migration question means that a lot of our children are nothing more than property. There are very influential and powerful people who have an interest in these young boys and girls 
not returning to Nigeria because they are economic assets for them. The Federal Executive Council on Wednesday approved the contracts for the provision of independent power supply to the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. The Minister of State for Aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, disclosed this to State House correspondents at the end of the Council's first meeting of the year, presided over by President Mohamed Buhari at the Presidential Villa in Abuja. We are aware that we had challenges. Uh, you followed us on the first day of work, 2018, to NMDZQ International Airport's new terminal building that you people call Chinese Terminal. But this is the new terminal building that they're putting up there. It has challenges of power, water, and uh, sewer, etc., apron size, and so on and so forth. So in our efforts to uh, deal with those challenges, we're uh, putting up an independent uh, power uh, system at the airport which has been uh, approved by FEC. The Minister of Interior, General Abdurrahman Dambazal, has warned that any further attacks by herdsmen will not be condoned by the government. During a meeting with the governors of Kaduna, Niger, Benue, Taraba and Adamawa states, General Dambazal added that President Buhari remains committed to ensuring peace in all parts of the country. Threats to peace and public safety in any form and at any location could not be tolerated. It is the responsibility of the government at all levels to provide unconditionally sustainable peace, security, and public safety within its territorial boundaries. Again, this background, the meeting is convened to primarily bring us together to share our experiences on the aforementioned security challenges. The meeting will then agree on necessary measures to be taken and apportion responsibilities. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, is appealing to the National Assembly to pass the 2018 budget proposal as soon as possible in view of the political activities that abound this year. The SGF made the appeal when he appeared before the Senate Committee on Federal Character to defend the 2018 budget for his office. According to him, for the budget to be well implemented, it must be passed on time. You have to understand that we have uh, changed the financial year. It's now running from January to December. Uh, so for us to begin to implement the budget, we must get it passed in good time. Uh, it cannot be as it was before, uh, when the budget uh, course was running sometimes from January, I mean from April to uh, the, uh, the, the subsequent year in April. So it is very, very important that we realize that we need to get the budget. This is going to be a very uh, tedious year in terms of activities. INEC has just released its timetable. Uh, major political activities will start very soon. Uh, so the only way you can get the government running is to have a budget. Some state governors in the country are again calling on President Mohamedou Buhari to declare his interest to run for the presidency in the 2019 general elections. The seven governors say their meeting at the State House is purely coincidence, but they however used the opportunity to felicitate with the president, after which they declared their interest, arguing that they want President Buhari to continue. The governors are those of Kanu, Kogi, Kaduna, Adamawa, Plateau, Yobe, and Ninja states. Those of us that you see here want the president to contest for a second term of office. So everything is about 2019. Uh, there is no hiding that. Um, we have no apologies for that. We believe in the president. We want him to keep running the country in the right direction. Uh, so people can sp speculate about 2019. We have no apologies. And uh, we'll continue to do that. Whether they are right or wrong is beyond the point. It is the, everyone is entitled to his opinion. But as governors, uh, and uh, most of us here, except uh, the governor of Yobe, I think our first time governors, we, 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 we are interested in the continuity and policy stability, and we want the president to continue. But as our leader, the governor of Kano, said, we just uh, happened to be here for prayers, and we went to pay our respects to the president and uh, to feel gratified that any time we see him, he's getting better and better.